So, it seems there is a leak image of Next Deep in release, and obviously I downloaded it. I'm not going to make a full review on such image, but I want to show you a couple of interesting things. Meanwhile, it is completely pathetic when open source projects are doing in-house development, and you know who else is doing that. Elementary. They never publish their development images until beta, like it is something super secret, when it is pretty much the next Ubuntu. Anyway. Let's go! This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain. I will start from the installer, that is pretty much the same as Deepin 15, with one exception. How the auto partitioning works. I added a 70GB file system on Quick Emulator, and by the way Deepin 20 now requires a minimum of 64GB. But what's really interesting is that it creates two additional partitions. The first is a backup, that I have no idea what it does, but I assume is for rollbacks. And the second is data, that holds home and opt directories. Okay, let's take a quick tour inside the actual desktop, and again, I will only show you a few things, because the final release might be completely different. And I will start from settings that finally now are a separated app, and not part of Deepin Shell. So, we have a grid system with icons on home page, but entering inside a category we go into a list mode. Although isn't correctly designed, and we get lots of subcategories. Note I have disabled transparency because it doesn't work properly with virtualization. But what's obviously cool on this panel is the accent color selections, similar to Zorin OS. We also have the typical light or dark theme option, and no matter what we select as default, we can override it per application. But I'm going to keep the dark for everything anyway. Speaking of which, it is much better than GNOME's dark theme colors. And I'm going to combine it with a fuchsia accent. How hard is for GNOME to implement this functionality and solve themes issues once and for all? Because that's the real issue with theming, the colors. The code name is UOS, that stands for Ubuntu OS sucks, and that's why Deepin Dev switched to Debian. I can't update that image because it has IP filtering, but I didn't check either if there was some way to cheat it. I will just wait for the official release. Anyway. Point is that Deepin finally fixed their settings story which was one of my biggest complaints on that system. The next thing I want to show you is the new fashion mode on panel. It is similar to what they had before, but with a few nice changes. So the panel now gets the full width, and we have three groups of sorting, with application switcher in the middle. If they reduce the height a little bit, it will probably look better. Something you may didn't notice because of this wallpaper and the missing transparency, is that the panel is actually floating. Let me switch to another wallpaper to see that better. Ooh! And I really really hate these virtual desktops and I really really hope to fix them like before they switch to Kwin. Anyway, you should now be able to see that panel is floating on air, which it may steal some space, but it looks nice. The next and final thing I'm going to show you, is the file manager. On launch we start in computer view, that has our home folders on top, and the devices on bottom. Highly inspired by Microsoft Files Explorer, and I don't really like it. And that's the data partition, that hosts home and off directories as I told you in the beginning. Also I want to show you some of the dialogues, that are crazy big. Okay, and that is a menu that just bugged. Bug aside, menus look super cute, with or without the transparency. Basically, everything looks cute here. But this height of the dialogue window? is too much cuteness to afford. You see? Deepin always felt cuteness incomplete. That's the perfect description. Anyway, so these are our files on grid view, and we only have an additional list view, but we need a different button to switch to that. We also have an info panel, and of course the color tagging is also here. Both very very nice features, and I'm saying that for GNOME files. There are more things I could discuss on the file manager but it is really far far from final, plus I'm not sure if I have the latest updates, so I'm skipping. Have you watched that official Deepin 20 teaser with the new full screen applications launcher with paging? 
Well, it is not here. And imagine that was the top reason I downloaded that image. Anyway, that was all for now. Time to work on super serious videos, like trolling one duke. Can you imagine that this guy is actually director of marketing at Purism? 